Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, mostly gentlemen, for this brand new Blender tutorial using Army 3D. We're going to make stylized water. Now I've talked about water before, however it's mainly to block out the scene, as in for an island you have the water to be the boundary to stop the player from, uh, from leaving the actual playable zone. However, in the game you might have some features such as a lake or a swim pool that you might want to use uh, to add water to. So what we're going to do is directly delete the default cube and let's go ahead and add a plane, scale this up quite a lot and what we're going to do is we're going to re uh, reset the rotation and location of the camera and then we can move the camera out, rotate it uh, back again correctly and then bring it down slightly and as you can see we have something that looks like this so what we want to do now is we want to add a shader to it but we want to have a nice animated water we don't want something static so what we're going to do is we're going to make a stylized one so using the stylized image that we're going to add displacement and movement to and all that is going to happen inside the shader and instead of making the shader ourselves you can just go ahead to the link in the description and download the shader pack it's quite old, it was made three years ago, but it still works today, so don't complain. And obviously shout out to the guy who made it uh, a while back, it's very useful and very helpful. So let's go ahead and just append one of those shaders, I'm going to append the, the third one. Let's go to material, and let's append the lava shader. Now we have a bunch of other shaders right here, however the lava one is the one that we want, because it has some nice movement to it. Uh, the uh, there we go. We can apply it and it's all based around the image texture right here. So you can just change the image texture and it's not going to affect the movement. It's uh, only going to um, it's going to apply the same uh, settings and movement and displacement from the lava texture to whatever other texture you feed into it. So let's go ahead and open up our stylized water. And there we go. Now we have something that looks quite good. However, we do want to set up the camera a little better. I'm going to zoom it out a bit. And as you can see, we have a great plane. However, I want it to be bigger, so I'm going to scale it. In fact, I'm going to go into edit mode and grab these two vertices right here and scale those instead. That means I have to actually scale them so they fit in screen right here. And now what we want to do is we want to UV unwrap this because it's looking very distorted. So let's go to the uh, editor, the um, UV editor. And let's go ahead and re-unwrap this using the smart UV unwrap. So that allows us to actually uh, tile the actual texture as you can see here. When I scale it up there isn't a seam, it's seamless basically. Which is perfect. And now we have a nice looking scene and now that we have our scene set up what we want to do is do is actually go ahead and run it but if you do that you'll notice that nothing will show up now the reason being because this uh, PBR material that we just added is only shown on the top as in only people viewing it from the top as in from the camera view that I'm and that I'm at here in the viewport I'll be able to see that but if I'm underneath like the camera is then you won't be able to see the bottom because it's only projected to the top. So to fix this, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to select everything in edit mode, go to mesh, normals, and flip them and flip the normals. Now that means it's not no, no longer than going to be visible from the top and only from the bottom. So let's go ahead and add a sky to make this look better. We can augment the strength a little, not too much. And now let's go ahead and run the actual scene to see what it looks like. And as you can see, it looks pretty awful. Now that's because we this is a very rough version, but if we uh, work on this a bit more, you'll notice that it would look much better. Because what we need to do is basically just hide all the crappy parts. So we want to make it feel like it's underwater. To do that, let's use one of our best friends called Volumetric Fog. So let's go ahead and go down to the render path and use the in the compositor we're going to activate the volumetric fog so this is basically just going to hide all of our mistakes and all of the crappy parts of our game with uh, fog basically however in our case it's going to emulate the depth of the ocean and let's go ahead and augment the amount to something like for the first one let's set it to let's set it to 9 and the second one is going to be 15 once we have that 
fog amount set we can go ahead and play the game once again and hopefully have a much better result. And as you can see this is looking a lot more like the underneath of the ocean. Now uh, the, the fog amount and colour need to be adjusted as well as the, the uh, speed and, and ripples on the surface but overall you get the general idea. Uh, it's just basically testing out and seeing what fix uh, for your purpose. So after a little bit of playing around that's what I came up with. Uh, obviously you just need to play with the colour and the speed and, and all those things like that just to fine tune it to get the right um, the right result that you're looking for. So thank you very much for watching 